International Journal of Gastrointestinal Intervention article. Title is Infracolic Gastrostomy. Technique and Anatomical Considerations. Infracolic radiologically inserted gastrostomy is not well documented, and the presence of an insertion window solely below the transverse colon is generally regarded as a contraindication to gastrostomy insertion. A perceived increased risk is due to the presence of vessels and lymphatics within the omental and peritoneal structures, such as the epiploic arteries, the arterial arcade of Barco, and middle colic artery branches from the superior mesenteric artery. Colonic obstruction is also an additional theorized risk. We provide evidence that infracolic insertion of a feeding tube through the greater omentum can be performed safely. A total of 1,156 gastrostomies were inserted over an eight-year period. A retrospective review of the five cases was conducted. Electronic patient records were reviewed including clinical consultations, procedure reports and images. In all cases, varium was administered orally, per nasogastric tube the day before to delineate the colon. All patients underwent pseudo-analgesia with insufflation of the stomach achieved by a temporizing nasogastric, or a gastric tube. Infracolic gastropexy with three safe TPEXI T fasteners was undertaken. Standard 12FR balloon retained tubes were inserted through the greater omentum with no postprocedural complications or tube malfunctions in four cases. A 16FR disc retained tube was inserted in a fifth case. Despite the perceived difficulties, we suggest that infracolic gastrostomies can be performed with confidence, and with little deviation from standard insertion techniques. They can be inserted without an apparent increase in complications. Although operators need to be aware of the anatomical differences and additional structures traversed when performing infracolic gastrostomies. Thank you for watching International Journal of Gastrointestinal Intervention article.